Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me integrating and today I'm going to share with you guys this integral that really perplexed me the other day. So, let's see. We have an integral and then it's a very long fraction. And on the denominator we have x times x plus 1 times x plus 2 multiplied all the way to x plus n. Hmm. The bottom is already fully factorized for us. So then, how would you guys proceed with this? If that were me, I would just do partial fractions. So, we can just change this. We can just change this into many fractions added together. So it will become, I'm going to write a0 for the other steps of this question, over x plus a1 over x plus 1, plus all the way to am over x plus m. And as we see, this will become the sum when k equals 0 to m of ak on the top and x plus k on the bottom. Every single partial fraction will always look like this, no matter what. So our goal is to figure out what ak is, because then if we know what ak is, we can proceed with our partial fractions. Hmm. To make this extra clear, I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side and the right-hand side so that they both include k clearly. So then I'll rewrite this into x times x plus 1 times all the way to x plus k and then times all the way to x plus m. And on the top will still be 1. And then this, I will also take out an x plus k. So this will all stay the same. And then plus all the way to x plus k on the bottom over ak. And then plus all the way to x plus m on the bottom and am on the top. Okay, so now I will use the cover-up method. So the cover-up method is to multiply both sides by x plus k. So then if I multiply both sides by x plus k, then look at the left-hand side. This x plus k and this x plus k will cancel out. And then let's look on this side. On the right-hand side, I will separate this product into two separate products. The first product being this x plus k multiplied by this individual term where these terms cancel out. And the second bracket being all of the other terms multiplied by x plus k. So then I'll do what we need to do. Then the left-hand side becomes x times x plus 1 times all the way to, I'll write, I'll write x plus k minus 1, since it's the term right before x plus k, and I'll also write x plus k plus 1, since it's the term right after x plus k, and there's no more, um, and there's no more x plus k, all the way to x plus m, and 1 on the top. And this will equal to the first bracket being just this individual term times that, which will cancel out. So then it will just become ak plus all of the other terms times that. So step one of the cover method done. The second part of the cover method is to let x equal to negative k. So I'll just write it up here. Let x equal to negative k. Okay, so if we plug in negative k for all of the x's, it'll become 
the left hand side will be the first term negative k, second term negative k plus 1, all the way to, see, negative k plus k is 0, 0 minus 1 is just negative 1, and then times 1, and then look, this will multiply all the way to negative k plus m, which is m minus k. And on the top will still be 1. And then this will equal to, let's see, if x is negative k, let's look at the second bracket. It will become, this product will become 0, and anything multiplied by 0 will become 0. Then this will just become ak. So look, we have found what ak is, but look at the left hand side. It's way too messy. So then I'll just rewrite this up at the top and I will clean this up. Okay, so how to clean this up is let's first ignore the positive part. Let's look at the negative part, okay? So all of these terms all have negative, but then how many negatives are there actually? Well, if we get rid of the sign, then we're basically just counting from 1 all the way to k. So 1 to k, there will be k numbers. So then there should be k negatives in here. So then why don't we multiply the top and bottom by negative 1 to the power of k? Now, I won't rewrite this integral. I'll just write negative 1 to the power of k on the top. Then the top will just be negative 1 to the power of k. But then look at the bottom. What will the bottom be? All of these negatives will become positive, and all of these positives will become negative. If I rewrite this, then it will become, on the bottom, this will be positive k, this will be positive k, but then this will be negative 1, since this is positive. So minus 1, and then all the way to 1, and then this is still times 1, all the way to n minus k. And the top will just be that. And this equal to a k. Let's take a look. What is this? This is k factorial. And then what is this? If we flip it the other way around, this is m minus k factorial. Equals a k. So now we know what the numerator is, and now we can proceed with the cover-up method. So then the integral will become, like I said, every single partial fraction will always become the sum from k equals 0 to m of, on the bottom will be still x plus k, and then on the top will be a k, which is this. And I won't write this at the top, I'll just write the reciprocal of x plus k, multiplied by a k. Same thing. And don't forget the dx. Okay, so, let's see. This is an integral with respect to x. Now look at the second term. Can you even spot an x out? No. So this is a constant, so we can just take that out. And we know that the integral of a sum it's just the sum of an integral. So we can take this and this out of the integral. So then it becomes the sum k equals 0 to m of this, since we took it out, k factorial times m minus k factorial on the bottom, negative 1 to the power of k on the top, and then integral of 1 over x plus k dx. So this is obvious. We can just do ln absolute value of x plus k. So then all in all, this will become sum from k equals 0 to m of, c. on the top will become negative 1 to the power of k times ln absolute value x plus k. And on the bottom will just be this. And always don't forget the C. And so this is the final answer of the integral that really perplexed me the other day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like,
more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.